Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a set battle between Paldean Fates, the new shiny set, and Shining Fates, which is uh, the middle set of the three between Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, and Paldean Fates. So the three Fates sets. We've got the newest and the one before that. Uh, I've got the Pokemon Center ETB for this. They didn't have uh, a Pokemon Center exclusive one for Shining Fates, but you get uh, 11 packs in here and 10 in here. So what I think I'm gonna do, just to make sure that it's fair between the packs or between the sets, is I'm going to just pull a, pull a pack out of Paldean Fate, which isn't going to count towards the battle. So then we've both, well, we have 10 packs per set. So we slide out the boxes. Remove the tops and we will get to the packs. Uh, I'm just going to pull one at random. Let's pick that one out. We'll have a look at the promos of each one as it's a special set. In the past, you used to get a promo pack or a promo card with the special sets. In this instance, you get the EV VMAX to go with the EV on the front. The promos won't count towards the battle because you get two in Shining Fates, uh, or oh, Powdown Fates, and only one in the Shining Fates, so Shining Fates would be losing currently already. Uh, so this is the pack that's not going to count, but we'll open it anyway, see if there is anything in there. If not, that could stack the deck slightly more into the favour of Powder and Fates, but we actually do get a hit. We get a Gardevoir EX, which won't count. Uh, so let's start with the older set first. We'll go with Shining Fates, and we'll see what there is in here. We go back to the yellow borders for this. And we have to rearrange the cards to get the rare on the back. So we start with more Peko. We get a horsey and we get a Reshiram, amazing rare, straight away, one hit, one hit for Shining Fates immediately. Actually, I'm going to go, I'm going to alternate between the packs rather than do them all at once. I'm going to do it this way just to, just to keep it on a bit more of a level playing field. So we don't get everything in one hit. We've got Grap Locked. We've got a Chi String, Reverse Hollow, a bunch of mice, and an Armor Rouge. So nothing in that one. We've got one hit for Shining Fates. We did get that one hit at the beginning for Powder and Fates, which 
has gone against it in this instance as it was not to be counted but let's see if we can get two for two on the shining fates we just get a rillaboom and a yan mega pain in the ass this card i've opened a lot of shining fates uh, in the past and ugh, every time you get that yan mega it's just a, such a disappointment so here we have I've, I've lost count of the packs already i think this is the second pack yeah second pack oh and we get a shiny slow bro with nothing on the back so we will sleeve that up and I'll try and get a bit more room for the cards Shining Fates one of the big cards in the set being the Charizard the shiny Charizard uh, but then you can say that about quite a lot of sets really that the big card is the Charizard you can say that about Power Down Fates as well the special illustration rare Charizard uh, and then the special set um, before no is it after or before Champions Path was around the same time as Shining Fates and that that too had a Charizard in fact Champions Path had the Rainbow Rare um, and the version in Shining Fates is what well, I've forgotten what pack I've opened the one in the Shining Fates is just the full art uh, shiny version It was, uh, it was at that time where, well, you could argue they still are relying quite a bit on Charizard, but there was a heavy reliance on Charizard in the game at that time. We have an Alakazam full art, shiny Alakazam. So it looks like Paldean Fates has pulled ahead. Let me get that out of the way there. I'm going to move that up slightly. This pack. One, two, three, four. To the front. We have Cramorant. I'm going to go a bit quicker. Just because we've got so many packs to get through. Oh, we have... Oh, and then Jan Mager again. See what I'm talking about? It's just everywhere. We have a shiny Galarian Surfetched. So, Shining Fates pulling one back straight away into Paldean. We have a Rult Nest Ball, Charmeleon. Oh. Ultra Ball, a Lechonk, Roots, and just a Zatu, Shining Fates, once again, neck and neck so far, obviously, I'm going to let you guys be the arbiter of which set wins, I'm just going to open the packs and then if you let me know in the comments which you think has won out of the two sets uh, just let me know what set you know let me know what set you like in general as well you know if you've opened Powder and Fates uh, let me know which set you prefer out of the two and um, We will. Oh, nice. Shiny reverse Charmander. 
river room. Oh, get over there. We have about half the packs now. Oh, I'm going to speed up a bit more, even more than I said I was going to do before. Thwacky. We've got a Rotom. Tutel. Eevee swimming about. Horsey. Oh, shiny Rillaboom. And a Professor's Research on the end. So Shining Fates takes the lead in terms of hits. But then you've got to weigh up, I guess. You need to weigh up what, you know, how many half art shinies equals a full art. Does an amazing rare really mean anything? You know, does anyone, uh, is anyone fussed about an amazing rare? I mean, it's classed, I've classed it as a hit. Um, oh, we've got a Knuckle Stack, Shiny, and a Poor Me. So we've got a two in one. Paldean Fates sees the Rillaboom and it raises it a Knuckle Stack and a Poor Me. Four hits now. So we have what we've got. We've got four packs left. Uh, one, two, three, four. We've got a shield, a ball of fluff, a Yanmar Mopeko. Better not see that. If I see that Yan Mega on the back again. No, we get hollow. We get the first holographic of the opening for Shining Fates. I think that's one thing I remember from Shining Fates is the the amount of um, holographics you got was actually quite low. Um, it was a lot of regular rares, like I said, a lot of Yan Magers, Fricky Backs, and a big monkey. More Peko again on the front. Lots of more Pecos. Oh, we got Rotom, a sword, Luxio, Morpeko running off with a berry. Are we getting anything here? We've got the Yanmar, and we've got a Dreadnought, regular rare on the back. So the Gardevoir EX that was uh, removed doesn't seem to be hindering Paldean Fates at the moment. There's still enough time for oh, Heat Rotom. Look at that thing. That just gives me uh, memories of. Oh, that's in the wrong. There. Gives me memories of um, Ultra Prism. There's quite a few heat rotums in Ultra Prism and the build and battle kits. I think there was a there was a Rotom uh, promo, one of the promo cards with the with the Ultra Prism stamp. So that uh, yeah, I think it was. I think there were regular oh, another Yan Mega. That's the third one. We're looking at one every three packs for a Yan Mega. Uh, nope, don't need to do anything with this. Yeah, there were regular rares, I think, in um, in Ultra Prism, the Rotoms. Oh, and we get a full art to go with the full art Alakazam, we get the Paldean student. So we've actually done very well with the Paldean Fates. I mean, I think Shining Fates is a bit, is already on the back foot because the pull rates on the new Scarlet and Violet 
is a lot better than what we used to get. So I think it was always going to be tough for it to, you know, always playing catch up. If we can get a Charizard here, then I think it would stand itself in good stead to win. Oh, we don't, but there is a VMAX on the back, I can see. So we do get two hits in one. And we get a Crobat. So we get a shiny Phalanx on the front. And a Crobat VMAX. And we have the final pack of Powdown Fates. 20 packs down between the two. And we get as our potential final hit. Are we going to get anything? We do. We get a shiny Murkrow. Nothing on the back. Chuck those down. We have one final hit on the end. So two two very good packs on the end. Let's get the cards together and we will go through the hits for each pack. Actually, you know what? Because, like I said, they're on the back foot, I am going to chuck in the promo card for Shining Fates just because the pull rates are not as generous. Um, so we have Crobat VMAX to start the pulls. We have a Shiny Phalanx, a Shiny Rillaboom, a Galarian Surfetched, a... Reshiram Amazing Rare and then the promo EVV Max. So counting the promo, we have six hits. Put those all in a line. And now Paldean Fates, we get a shiny Murkrow, a full art Paldean student an Art Rare Shiny Poor Me, a Knuckle Stack, a Full Art Alakazam, and a Slowbro, Shiny Slowbro. So six hits as well. If we include the Gardevoir, we get seven for the box, but as I say, that is excluded from the battle. So there we have it. We actually get six on one side and six on the other. So as I say, let me know who you think won between the two sets. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching and catch you in the next video.